So your Google business profile is not showing up on Google Maps and you can't figure out why. In today's video, I'm going to run through six of the most common reasons why that might be the case and what you can do to solve this issue. Stick around till the end because the last one is a real head scratcher that most business owners overlook. Let's start with the first one. Your Google business profile is not verified. When you claim your business listing, one essential step is to get it verified. If you don't, it won't show up on Google Maps. If you're not sure whether your listing is verified, just log into the Google account you use to claim it and in a Google search box, type my business. That will bring up your profile details. You should see a note saying it's not publicly visible. Click on view profile. This opens the in search management interface for your listing and you're likely to see a message saying customers can't see your business information, get verified to let them find you on Google. Just click on get verified and pick a verification method. The available verification methods will vary based on your business category, location and other factors. In many cases these days, you may only have the option of video verification and won't be given any other alternatives. Once verified, your listing should be publicly available. Let's have a look at another common issue. Your Google business profile is verified, but still not showing. So even though your listing is verified, you're still unable to locate it when searching on Google. If your profile has been recently set up and just got verified, it might take several days before it appears on Google Search and Google Maps, so be patient. To ensure it's actually in Google's database, follow these steps. On the desktop, go to Google Maps and search for your business name along with your address or the city where your business is located. Your listing should appear. Alternatively, on your mobile phone, open the Google Maps app and make sure you're logged in with the Google account you use to claim the listing. Tap on your profile icon and from the drop-down menu, select your business profile. If it displays your listing details and you see a blue check mark next to your business logo, it means your listing is verified and searchable. Just give it some time before it shows up in search results. If your listing has been verified for three to four weeks and you still can't find it when searching for your business name and address, there might be an issue with it. In that case, I recommend reaching out to Google's business support team directly. You can find the link in the description below. Moving on to another common issue. Your Google business profile lacks authority. If you're able to find your listing when searching for your business name, but it's nowhere to be found for those important generic keywords, it's probably because your listing doesn't carry enough weight or authority. Let me explain. Claiming and verifying a listing for your business to appear on Google Maps and Google Search is the easy part. In most industries, you're competing against businesses that have been around longer, claimed their listings ages ago and built up a solid local reputation online. Google tends to see them as more of a big deal in their fields than you are. As the new kid on the block, your listing will be last in a pecking order and well-established businesses will almost always rank higher than you. You'll need to work on improving your listing's authority. Here is how. Start by asking your customers for some Google reviews. Keep your listing fresh by adding images to it regularly and publish some Google posts. Ensure your business is listed in key local directories like Yelp, Yellow Pages, Better Business Bureau, your local Chamber of Commerce, and industry-specific directories like trade platforms. Build backlinks from other local businesses' websites to your own. There's a strong connection between your website's performance and the visibility of your listing on Google Maps and Google Search. When you do these things, you'll significantly improve the chances of your listing to show up in search results for the keywords you want to be found for. Let's have a look at another issue. Your listing has been suspended. So when it comes to setting up your Google business profile, there are some important guidelines to follow. Whether you created your listing 15 years ago or just a few weeks back, if you don't abide by those guidelines, Google might suspend your listing. That means no more showing up on Google search or maps. Not cool. If your listing gets suspended, Google should have sent you an email to break the bad news. If you miss the email, you can also tell by logging into your Google profile. You will see a warning message indicating that your listing is no longer publicly visible, similar to what you'd see if your listing was unverified. So if your phone suddenly goes silent overnight, do yourself a favor and check your email and log into your account sharpish. If you discover that your listing has indeed been suspended, here is what you need to do. Start by thoroughly reading Google's guidelines and make sure your listing complies with them. 
These guidelines can be fairly confusing for many business owners. So if you want to know the most common reasons why your listing was suspended and how to rectify them, you can watch my video on fixing a suspended listing. I put the link to it in the description below. Once you feel your listing is in compliance with the guidelines, you'll need to contact Google via their reinstatement form. I've also added a link to it in the description below. Please note that the reinstatement process is currently being changed with some important updates, so I recommend you watch this short video before going through it. Once your listing is reinstated, it will take a few days for it to regain its rankings on Google Maps and Search, and things should get back to normal, just like they were before the suspension. Time to have a look at another common reason why your Google business profile is not showing up. You're too far away from your target location. I get it, most of you watching this video want your listing to be number one on Google Maps, not just in your city, but also in nearby cities or even across an entire state. I'm sorry to burst your bubble, but these are unrealistic expectations, and here is why. One of the key factors Google looks at when ranking business listings on Google Maps is how close a business is to the person doing the searching. As a simple rule, don't count on your listing showing up in results for searches that are more than three miles from your business address. And if you're in a big city like New York or Los Angeles, where everybody's battling it out in every business arena, that radius shrinks to just a couple of blocks. So if you've got a business in Fort Lauderdale and you're in Miami looking up keywords related to your listing and it isn't showing up, it's totally normal. Here is what you can do to extend your visibility. First, Keep tabs on how your listing ranks in your own city by using a Google Maps tracking tool like Bright Local. I've put a link to it in the description below. See how you're doing with your target keywords and work on improving that. Second, create some location-specific pages on your website. Target those cities where your Google listing doesn't show up in Google Maps results. That way you can still rank in the traditional Google search results, you know, the ones below the map. Lastly, think about setting up shop in more cities where you want to be found so you can claim Google listings for them. Let's now go through the final common issue most small business owners aren't aware of, which could result in your Google business profile not showing up. Your listing is being filtered. It's very common for certain types of businesses to share the same address, especially in big cities where space is at a premium. For example, you'll often see a bunch of lawyers in one building, several dentists sharing the same dental office, or many different realtors using the same brokerage. In most cases, these businesses not only share the same address, but also have the same primary business category. The problem with that is that Google likes to mix things up in its search results and show different businesses in different spots. So it uses something called a local filter. What that means is that if a bunch of businesses are located at the same address and use the same primary category, most of them won't show up in search results, just one or two will make the cut. Take this example of Rand Spear, a personal injury lawyer in Philadelphia. If you check how well they rank for personal injury lawyer using a tool like Bright Local Search Grid, then number two, right where their office is, no surprises there. But now if you check how they are doing for Philadelphia personal injury lawyer, it's a whole different story. They don't rank anywhere near their own office. Instead, they do show up in some other places a little further away. If your listing isn't showing up for your own location, it's a clear sign it's getting filtered out when people search for that keyword. First, I can see from Bright Local that all the businesses competing for this keyword use the same primary category. Then, if I click on the dot where Rand Spear is located, you'll see most of their competitors are within meters of them, meaning they are likely sharing the same address as well. So Rand Spear is definitely getting filtered out in favor of others. If your listing is filtered out for the keyword you want to rank for, here is a nifty little trick you can use to check who you are competing against. Head over to Google Maps and search for your listing using your name and address and zoom in on where your map pin is. Right click somewhere near your pin and from the drop down select the option search nearby. In the search box type the keyword for which you suspect you are being filtered out. Now click on search this area. This will reveal all the listings that are relevant for this keyword. As you can see a few more listings have appeared including Rand Spears. Upon checking them I can see they all use the same primary category personal injury lawyer, and are all located in the same building. So what can you do if your listing is getting the cold shoulder from Google? Well, you've got a few options. 
First, check if your competitors are playing dirty by stuffing their business name with keywords to rank higher. If they are, report them to Google using the business redressal form. Think about changing your primary category so you're not in direct competition with the other listings. Boost your relevance for that keyword by improving your website content and building up your website's authority with some links. Get a doing business as name so you can use a different business name on your Google listing that includes the keyword you want to rank for. If all else fails, maybe consider relocating somewhere no one else in your vertical is established. That way, your listing won't be caught in Google's local filter. And if you need a hand figuring out how your listing is doing and what you can do about it, why not book one of my Google Business Audit sessions? I'd be happy to help you out. That's it for today, guys. Hope this was helpful. If you have any questions, drop them in the comments below. And until next time, happy marketing.